Hello folks. Well this video would be 45 minutes long if I didn't speed it up, so I really hope you can understand it. Also, I never had a smartwatch, nor am I affiliated anyway with this company. Mine cost $89 from the official TechWatch site, hence the reason I got it. I've seen them actually for under $30 too, but I'm told those are knockoffs. So if you don't know anything about smartwatches, maybe this will help you make up your mind. Here we go. Hello folks. Well, I wanted to get one of these, so I got one for Christmas. I picked this smartwatch. It is called a Tech Watch, or Tech Watch X, as you might have seen some ads. It came in this box with this set of instructions, and uh, the instructions are all in uh, Chinese or in English. And uh, the watch comes in either a white band or a black band, and I ordered one with a black band. So let me show it to you here. Now, the thing that's cool, you see, it turns on by itself when you move it. And I have it set for 10, uh, 15 seconds. So there's a push button on the side here. Now, let me show you this thing. I just got it wrapped around here because I can't twist my arm up and down. Just to get around this small uh, noodle, I am in the last hole on here. Uh, I'm in the second to last hole on me. And as far as I'm concerned, this band is really too small. And I'm told it only comes in one size. And this is the way it looks on. So you, uh, you stretch it like that. And you put this uh, in the hole, wherever that is, and push that down. And that snaps into place. Okay? So that's how that works. So it turns on when you move your arm because... Here's what happens. All right, I'm going to show you a couple things on it. Let's go do this now. If I swipe, here's the programs that are in here. Messaging, dialer, phone book, call logs. Swipe again. Power saving, settings, and uh, language settings. A stopwatch, motion, which means when you move your watch. Uh, a calculator, theme, running, history, the actual app. Uh, so you can aim your phone at it if I wanted to do this. This is how you load. If I push that right there, that opens up one of these symbols, and you can simply scan that with your phone to put the app in. Swipe again back. Got camera mode, uh, Bluetooth music, an alarm, anti-lost, and, and the calendar. Then over here is sedentary, and that means if you're sitting too long, it'll tell you to get up every 30 minutes. Your ECG, uh, electrocardiogram, heart rate, and sleep monitor. Over here you turn on your Bluetooth, the uh, notifier, and the pedometer, and the main menu for keeping track of what's going on. Here's your dialer, messaging, call logs, and phone book. Power saving, this is on power saving right now, so it's not as bright. Settings and language. Okay, so let's go into settings by pressing this. And we're, first of all, I'm going to go to where it says Bluetooth settings here. And I will push that. Power is off on that right now. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And it is now switching on. The Bluetooth power is now on. Okay? So, if I want to go and set the clock, I can pick the clock face type. So, if I click clock type like this, I have these options. And each different clock will show you different things, like electrocardiogram or whatever, things like that. Different time settings. This is your pedometer, number of steps. I like this one. So, I'm going to say okay. That's clock type 4. If I want to sync the time, I've already set the sync. So, on or off, it's on right there. Okay? I've got all these different settings. Notification, bright, sound. Uh, if I want to go to the sound, I can pick the alert type. So it's vibrate and ring. Or ringtone one. I'll show you here. Ring only is this. Vibrate only. Notification tone. That's number three. I've got it on here's number two. And number one. So I'm going to go back to three. So that's a notification. When I get a notification, it's uh, somebody's trying to call me on the phone. That's what I can do. Okay? And uh, I've got vibrate only. I actually want to change this to vibrate and ring at the same time. So you now changes it. Okay? You've got your sound, your volume, uh, the display. Uh, tells you how long you want the screen to be on when it's on display. So if I press that right there, I've got four apps and brightness one and screen timeout after 15 seconds. Okay? So here's the deal. Four apps or smart style. Now smart style, when you click that, when I push this over, now every icon for every program is right there. And you can see that it's kind of small up here at the top. All you have to do is slide down and those apps get bigger. So you can see it. So if I want to do my heart rate, I would click that right there. I click start. And when it's on my wrist, it will read the number, but it's not. So back to that, and I'll show you that in a minute. But that's smart mode. So you've got all these different icons on here in one place. All right? And you just have to move it around like this to make them big. Now, me, um, here's what I'm uh, going to go back to settings and show you. If I go back to settings and I do the display, I'm going to set that to the display to four apps. Now, that means that there's only four apps on the screen. So I like that better. I can see each one. I don't have to try and remember what each one is, but they're all pretty, pretty slick. Like that, okay? Two, get out of this. You can just shut this off like that. See those dots right there in the middle? Those are your battery. I'm not real impressed with the battery uh, life on it because they advertise it three to five days. But if you run your Bluetooth with your phone all the time, you might get 10, 12 hours out of it. So um, you want to shut that off. Now, see this? This went blank right now. If I do this, it wakes up. Okay, so anyway, that's that's how that works. Here's your running app. If you press go, it counts it down and vibrates. And there's your speed and steps per minute. And uh, it shows your mileage you went and the number of calories that you've done. Up at the top left is the battery indicator. And the time is still like 3.20 to 7 p.m. Okay, so I want to get out of there. If I want to go to history, I click on history. And this shows my total running time that I've done. Hour and 38 minutes. If I want to take a good look at it, I can set up goals here. I don't have any goals set up. And um, all right, so let's go out of that. Uh, I showed you the app. Uh, camera. Oops. Camera. It's right here. You just click that and that does a capture on your phone. Um, remote control. 
Uh, alarm, you want to set your alarm for a certain time, you set it like this, you pick the alarm date, like a time, and you can scroll up and down whatever time you want that alarm to go on or off AM or PM, and uh, so that would be it. Repeat once, alarm tone, I've got that on there, I pick the alarm tone. So that's, there's, or the ring one. So let's go ahead and say okay on that. So the alert type is ring only or vibrate and ring. So I'm going to set that to vibrate and ring. There you go. Okay, so that's all, all you've got on the, on the alarms. Okay, so where was I here? Bluetooth music, if I pick this, it's going to say, well, your Bluetooth is not connected. You want to connect. I'm going to say, okay, this is going to connect to my phone now. And I'm going to say iPhone and connect the Bluetooth device. I say, okay. So it says Bluetooth is not connected. Do you want to connect? So what you want to do is, first of all, go to settings and go to your uh, uh, Bluetooth setup and pick the phone, which right here says it's not connected. See where it says watch. So I'm going to go ahead and say connect. Oh, and my phone now says, do I want to do it? I'm going to say pair. So that pairs it. And now the watch is connected there at the bottom, you can see. All right, so now we can go. We're done with that. If I want to play, it says, uh, I, it's, I've already done here play. So I have remote control on there. And I can fast forward to the next song. So that's your Bluetooth music. Uh, if I want to go to the calendar, here it shows the calendar. If I want to look at the whole thing, I can do this, pick date, and uh, that shows today's date. So that's pretty slick. I've got the uh, anti-lost. Oh, the alarm I showed you, anti-lost. This helps you start to, to find your phone. So it's, it's looking for it, and uh, when that's done, it will it'll beep. My phone's right beside me, so I can't really find it. Okay, here's your heart rate, sleep monitor, electrocardiogram, and sedentary. Okay, so if I go to sedentary, this means that I'm going to set it so that my uh, I wake up, and, or it tells me to get up and walk around after 30 minutes or 60 minutes. That's the much of the time. So I'm going to, it goes all the way up. It goes to 180. 210 goes way up, you know, so that's a lot of hours. So you want to get up every 30 minutes and, you know, walk around a little bit. So I say, okay, that's going to give me that reminder. I don't know if you can see it at the top left up here is a Bluetooth symbol showing that that's not connected. This is my battery life over here. Okay. So, okay, so we go to electrocardiogram. All right, so let me take this thing off and I'm going to put this on my on my wrist. You can see, now you know I'm in the second to last hole and I'm not a big guy, so I think this strap is a little small for most people. Uh, so, all right, let's see if you can see that now. I'm going to go ahead and press E. CG. And this is now going to uh, show me this heart rate that's on there right now was the last time I read. So it's going to be measuring it here. As you can see, the line is going up. All right, my beats per minute right now at the beginning are 90. It'll average it out a little bit and then it'll stop. And so it's 85 now. And uh, 80, so it's going down as I'm sitting here talking. So that's the, e, uh, the, the beats per minute. Now, when that's happening, in order for that to do that, this is the light on the back of the watch. It turns on and monitors your skin and your heartbeat through this complete sensor on here. Pretty slick uh, device, okay? So let's put this back on. And what this does now, it already did that. So it's going to send it to the app. So I'm going to say to app, and that sends it to the app. Okay, so i got to go to the app. So I need to go to Fundu, and that's the app. You can download that on there. And now uh, it's, going to, it's going to show me up here at the top. I'm going to go to blood pressure, heart. Okay, and this is where it's going to show me my report. This is the sleep statistics, the steps that I've taken. And uh, back to report here. And, of course, if I click more down here, I get all this watch. LE is not connected, so. All right, what I want to do is click sync connect contact. So I click that. Phone favorites, recents, and all contacts. Okay, so now we're, now we're cooking. So go back to the app. Heart rate. Start. Okay. What I've done here under more is the watch is connected. As you can see up here, the Bluetooth call is set up to run. If I click this right here, this shows me how to do that. I'm just going to say yes later. Uh, remote shutter is on. Unit setting. This is a... Fahrenheit, that's what it said. Inches and metric, I'm um, just for that. The data sync is successful, just popped up and said. Okay, so ECG detection, I'm gonna turn that on. That tells me to go ahead and uh, push the button on the watch to turn that on. My uh, connect to Apple Health, I can do that. So here's all the different things you can do. So let's go ahead and go back to this home part here. And we're gonna go, this says steps, it's on steps. I'm gonna go to sleep, heart. Okay, now you can see that 86 on there. So if I go to this watch and I go ahead and click to the heart, Right there, start my heart rate. So go ahead and press that. And what this doing is doing is measuring my heart rate, 73 beats per minute. If you look down here, uh, when that's all done doing its thing, it'll actually stop. So I go ahead and say stop. And if I click this little menu up at the top, it'll show you where my history is, and I can read my history like that. And the 773. If I look on my uh, phone, there's the app says 73. Down here it says max rate 86, average rate 79, 73. Okay. So now let's go to uh, Sports. This is running. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and turn this back on. I can turn it on by just pushing that button. And we're going to say, uh, go back to all right, e ECG, electrocardiogram. This also does the heart. And so now it's going to show my electrocardiogram and my heartbeat. Okay. 75. Me. 
Here's my uh, steps and data now in there, as you can see. And if I click the report, this is going to show my activity report. This is the sleep report. Um, tomorrow hasn't arrived yet, so I can go back to yesterday. And that shows that. Different ways to do it. My heart rate is here. Okay, so now we're going to go back. This watch just told me send to app. So I'm going to say send to app. And now that's going to send that data to the app. And I can look at it. Oh, that's neat. Let me see report analysis. So that's steps, sleep. And if I go to the reports, here I have all the activity reports for everything I've done. Deep sleep, my heart rate report, which was yesterday. I didn't have it, so if I do it today, there's my heart rate report for today. It shows a little dot there, 78 ppm. So you really can do quite a lot with this little watch. Now here's something else that's kind of cool. Okay, so we're going to get out of that. Uh, I've got the sleep monitor. This is will show me how long I've been in deep sleep and light sleep. So uh, that's pretty slick. And so it shows the different displays, the history, the whole thing. So that's another thing that you can keep track of. Uh, the notifier, I want to set this right here. There's no notifications right now. If I get a notification, it'll come on and it'll, it'll tell me, you know, somebody sent a tweet or something. The pedometer is here. This shows how many steps, calories I've burned, and how far I've walked today. Uh, main menu, this shows the four apps. So I showed you that, or the smart style. I like the four apps, so I can scroll through this. Uh, here's a dollar. I can pick the numbers and dial the phone. Uh, and here's the phone book. And uh, this thing's for the phone. That shows all the different uh, names in my phone book, starting with A. I can scroll up and down. Okay, Let's take that back. Call log shows who called, how long I talked. Those are all in there. Um, I have a power saving. So if I turn that, I have it on right now. When it's off, it's much brighter. Okay, here's the uh, language. Uh, auto sync, I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And language is English, and a name and all that is in there. Okay, and of course your settings, again, is here. All the different sound display units. You know, you're going to reset the whole thing. All right, and let's see. So we'll get out of that. I think that's all. Show. Here's a stopwatch. So if I want to start it, there it goes. Run start watch. Stop it here. And reset. Um, motion. Motion shows you I can flip to mute the incoming call. I can flip to mute the alarm. I can wake up gesture, which is on, and that's a uh, shake to answer the call. I have that off. Um, so that's how that all works. The theme. Okay, there's a calculator here too, which really works good. 360. Uh, I just do, and I can undo that. And if I want to go to a different theme, theme one or theme two. Theme uh, one is is uh, this, and these little dots are in the background. Okay, I like theme two. Yeah, a little color behind it. Okay. And then here's your running. I showed you that. We're going to start running. You hit go. It starts counting down. And then oh, I showed you that already. So that's pretty much the way it is. And uh, it's pretty slick. The only thing I don't like about it is when you're connected with Bluetooth, you're good to maybe, I don't know, 10, 12 hours. And uh, and also the watch band, I think, is a little small. But otherwise, it's pretty cool. Now, what you want, and something else that I can show you, is if you hold your finger down on that watch face, long press, it asks you which theme you want, which clock you want. So you can pick like this one, say OK, and that shows... That shows, the, and see if I want to listen to music right there, all I have to do is press my music and hit it. Got a flower with the time and date, number of steps. Each different clock has a different uh, thing on it that you can do, an app. So I can say, okay, on that. Shows 16 Thursday, the time, beats per minute is going on right now. And if I want to do the running app, I just press this right here and set that up. Let's switch to, see if I just pick one of those, you know, you've got all these different watch faces that you can do. Hold it down. There's your number of steps, time and date. Oh, I just got a garage motion detection. So if I go like this, it shows me I had a garage motion detection. So that's how the uh, message thing works. Yeah. My wife must be out in the garage. Okay, you can power off the watch by just holding this button in. Get locked up or anything, this resets it. So there, that is off now. All right. I'm going to show you the, the way you uh, charge it is you pull this off right here. It comes with a small USB uh, plug-in. which plugs in right here. Like that. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in to my uh, external battery pack that I charge with. And it's now showing that it's charging. Okay, so I can turn the watch on even while I'm charging it by doing this. Just hold it in. This turns on the watch. And there you go. And this will get up, and set up everything, and do everything. Now it says connecting. So now I've got four notes. I've got all these notifications coming. Look at that. So if I want to click view, those are my smart cam and the computer and different things that I've done. Now if I go to my phone and I go to all the notifications that come in on your phone, I'm going to clear them right now. You know, by pushing that X. So clear that and. You'll see them all go away. There they go. Go on. So, it's all pretty cool, huh? So anyway, that's how you charge it. Notifiers, uh, no, no things, I'm back. You can see that it's still charging up here in the left corner. And uh, you can see my Bluetooth is connected, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to just push that button once, and it gets me back out of that. And like I said, when that's set up, it'll shut off. So, there it is. It's called a tech watch. It's uh, pretty slick. It really is. So again, I'm pretty disappointed in the battery life, which is claimed to be three to five days, depending on usage. That's their disclaimer. 
Well, the idea is to have Bluetooth on so I can get alerts from my phone, and that uses a lot of battery. If you keep Bluetooth off and only turn it on to transfer data from your phone when needed, it will last longer. Also, most people with big wrists probably are not going to be able to use this watch. I contacted the manufacturer about it and they said this is the only size strap available. So there you go. Hope this helps if you're looking. Thanks a lot for watching.